Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and today I am here to do another unboxing of the Regency Marketplace's subscription box. They are a fantastic company based in Virginia in the US that make or gather wonderful Jane Austen themed items and package them into a lovely subscription box. They come out once per season However, this one was their Christmas edition, and I believe there will be another winter, spring, summer, and fall for the coming year. You can purchase just one at a time if you think a particular season will appeal to a friend or a family member more. You can shop individual items that have been in the boxes on their website, or you can buy a subscription to all of the seasons to cancel whenever you would like. They do not offer international shipping as yet. I believe it's purely US shipping at this point. However, do contact them because I feel like I read on their website that they're hoping to offer international shipping in the future. So if enough of you write in an express interest, that might be something they're able to push up. It might become more financially viable for them. That is purely conjecture, I have no idea, but it's worth a try. So like I said, this was the Christmas box and its theme was Christmas at Highbury. Emma is one of my favorite novels, so I'm excited to see what we have in here. I am also very impressed at how they manage to fit all of the items in here so neatly. So first we have the booklet that tells you about the items. So I'm going to set that to the side. And then we start with the book. There's always a small book. And this time it's Gin Austen, which is 50 cocktails to celebrate the novels of Jane Austen by Colleen Mullaney. This looks really cute. I've seen this around. It always looked cute and fun. So for example, under Sense and Sensibility, we have the Devonshire Dreamsicle or the Just a Dashwood, which does look quite pretty, I have to say. It's just 50 cocktails, like it says on the tin. The No Weymouth, I do like these names and they do look quite appetizing. However, I don't really drink, not from any moral conviction, I just don't like the taste of most alcohols, so why am I going to spend my time and my money on something that I do not enjoy? So I will be donating this and someone else can enjoy it instead. But it is a very thoughtful of them and quite cute. We then have Great Minds Think Alike. My Christmas card for this year. I ordered two sets of these on Amazon for this year and they are from what is the name of the company? All Port Editions is what it looks like. And the artwork is by David Price. And it's the 12 days of a Jane Austen Christmas. It is the cutest thing ever. So I will be putting these with the leftover cards to be used possibly next year. This I cannot wait for. We have a kit to make clothespin dolls that look like Emma and Mr. Knightley, which sounds so adorable. And there's a picture of what they should look like on the back. Aren't those cute? They just look so cute. And then you have all of the items to make them here. And then we have hot apple cider spice blend. So if you add this to apple cider, American apple cider, it will give it that spice and loveliness. And there are actually two recipes on the back as well for regular hot apple cider or apple cranberry cider, which sounds fantastic. Apples are hit and miss for me, and I'm never sure if apple cider counts as having cooked apples, but I will be hanging on to this nonetheless because I could do something useful with it, and it smells fantastic. And then we have... This. It's a tiny book of Emma. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, it's a little piece of chocolate wrapped to look like Emma. 
which is very cute. That's a very cute idea. I cannot eat mass market chocolate, but this will be going to one of my family members who can. We then have a Jane Austen Christmas cracker. Oh, I'll have to do that later. That is adorable. I have no idea what's in it and I doubt I will be able to pull it by myself. So I will report back in the description box below to tell you what ended up in the cracker. I'm assuming your usual paper crown joke, that sort of thing. Now we get to the three items that I truly adore. The first is this gorgeous, with some paper straw on it, pashmina. Look at that color, that is just beautiful and it's soft, it's a great weight. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is going on Instagram backgrounds, just wearing this. I love that. Thank you so, so much for this. They have also recently come out with their own line of candles, the Regency Spa Candle. And they gave me this one in the box, which is Christmas Wassail. Wassail. I'm never sure how to pronounce that. Let's see. Oh, that smells amazing. It's apple spice loveliness. Oh, that is so good. Can't wait to burn that later. And then finally, I don't think I could ever actually bring myself to use this. I think this might purely be for decoration. We have a lovely wooden spoon, full size wooden spoon with the quote, one cannot have too large a party. As an introvert, I would disagree, but wonderful to have out when you're cooking for company. Like I said, I would feel too badly actually using this and getting it stained and dirty though. I don't think I could do that. Besides putting it through the dishwasher, I t oh, I couldn't do that to it. But I will find some way to display this instead, hopefully. So that was the Regency Marketplace Christmas at Highbury box. This was not sponsored by them. I have subscribed for at least the next year to see what else they have in their other season collections. Like I said, if you are interested and you are in the US, I will leave their website down below. And if you are interested and not in the US, do write into them expressing your interest and we'll see if something happens for providing you international access as well. Until next time, be safe, be well, and happy reading. Bye everyone.